welcome back to my channel, uh, Jimmy Friend Colors. Today we are working on another mushroom tutorial. Um, this is our mushroom mini series for fall um, 2018, and we're having just a lot of fun just coloring mushrooms, seeing what we can do with them so that we can put them into our pictures. And um, we are using Hannah Carlson's Daydreams book. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. And we've been using this page um, to practice some different kinds of mushrooms. So I think this was video one, video two, video three, and then today we'll do video four. Um, I chose this book because she does have a lot of pictures in this book that have mushrooms. There's this one. So, lots of mushrooms in this book. And sometimes we just like to see what our options are. So, we've been doing different mushrooms. All right, so today, the mushroom that I think we're going to color is we're gonna color this guy right here. And I have Googled mushrooms, pictures of mushrooms, find out what kinds there are, what colors they are, and some of that. And today we're gonna do a yellow-orange fly agaric, A-G-A-R-I-C, mushroom. And th what they look like is they are pretty dark right at the top, just right at the top. And then they get very light very quickly into a yellow, yellow orange color. And then the stalks are very light colored as well. So that's what we're going to do with this mushroom. So let's zoom in and get started. Okay, here we are zoomed in, and um, I've picked just some colors. I'm using Prismacolor Premieres, and we're gonna start with a deco yellow, and we're going to base coat the cap of this mushroom. So I'm just gonna use light pressure. I'm not gonna worry about the dots. I'm gonna go right over the top of them because we're gonna use a white gel pen to put them back in. So I'm not gonna worry about them. I don't have to worry about going eat around each individual one. I'm just going to lightly put in this deco yellow. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to worry about that section right now. All right. Okay, then we're gonna take yellowed orange and we're gonna just leave a little bit of yellow. So we want yellow kind of there down and everything else we want to get this orange on. Again, I'm not gonna worry about the dots. I'm using very light pressure. And I just want Add this orange. I'm holding my pencil pretty far back because if I'm up here, I'm going to use a lot of pressure. But if I'm back here, I'm going to use less pressure. It's going to be easier to use less pressure. So I'm holding my pencil back. I'm just getting this color done. I am going to bring this color down the side just a little bit. Down this side just a little bit. Okay. All right. Good so far. All right. Then we're going to take, this is Pale Vermilion, and I'm going to bring it down to maybe here. And make sure I don't cover up all of that orange. I want some of it, but I want to get this. I want it to be darker at the top. Okay, light pressure again. Just 
little circular motions. Okay. And then at the very top, I'm going to put in poppy red. So I just kind of want this right over the stock, just right in the middle. Not very much of it, just a little bit. Okay, be a little more this way. All right, put a couple layers of that in, just play with it for a minute. White layers. Okay, then we're going to work our way backwards. So let's grab the pale vermilion. We're going to go right over the top of that poppy. And then out. Bring that down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. It can be further down on one side than the other. That's okay. All right. Then let's go to our yellowed orange. We're going to go over all those darker colors. And then down with this yellowed orange. And I'm going to bring it all the way down on the side, just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it down to about here. Still using light pressure. Okay, really light pressure to get right on that edge between the deco yellow and the yellowed orange because I want a nice easy gradient so light light pressure to kind of feather into that okay and then go back to that deco yellow we're still light pressure and we're gonna go over everything we can have a light hand today we can just barely hold the pencil Now we have this little bit of a lip right here along the edge. Let's do that with our yellow orange, just lightly. Because he is back in the shadow, but we still don't want him too dark. He's really light in color. Okay. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of them and then we'll blend them out. We're going to try blending with some Gamsol today or some odorless mineral spirits. You can blend with any of the other techniques we've used as well. That's just the one we're going to practice today. Um, all right, so for the underside and for the stock, I think they're going to be the same on this one. 
And so let's start by putting in some cream. These stalks on this kind of mushroom are very light, very light. So that's what we're trying to achieve this time is a very light colored mushroom. Okay, we'll do all the underside as well. This is just laying down a base coat. You probably can't even hardly see it because it's such a light color. Okay. Now, we want to go to, this is 20% French gray, and I'm going to take this on the inside and pull it out because the inside, the closest to the stock, needs to be the darkest part of our mushroom. So, let's get that and pull it out. Okay. Then we're also going to take this and go over all these dots that Okay, camera stopped, we'll go again. So we're gonna go over all these dots that Hannah Carlson has put in to indicate some shading. So we're gonna go right there. And then we wanna go over this little skirt or fringe. We're gonna put just a little bit over the top of it and then definitely underneath it where she's put these dots. Then right there. And we're going to put some on here, just where these creases are, these folds, just to give them some shading. Okay, this is really light, but it is making a difference. And right over these dots, she has along the bottom. And then I'm going to take this right up the left hand side. Okay, then we're going to go to eggshell and we're going to blend that out. So we're going to go right over the top of the French gray and just bring it out further. You can leave the very end because that will be the lightest. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do the same on the stalk or the stem of the mushroom. We just want to go right over the top of that French gray and just blend it out. Forget that skirt or fringe. I really should look up mushroom anatomy. Okay, so they're calling this right here a ring, and then this is the stock, and then this is the cap. All right, so that's what we'll call it. Okay, then let's go to the cream, and we'll just blend that out the rest of the way.
Okay, under here as well. Pretty good. Let's get let's grab this 70% French gray. This is darker. We need a little more shadow. We need a little more darkness up here. Even though the stock is very light colored, we just need a little bit of this. So I'm not putting any pressure. I want this very lightly right next to the stock there to give some a little more shadow. And I'm going to do this right under the skirt as well, just a little bit. And then right at the bottom. Okay. All right, to blend this out, we're gonna try using some Gamsol today. So this is Odorless Mineral Spirits and I've put it in a little jar so that I don't have too much out. So if I spill it, I don't lose it. Um, I also keep the cap on it anytime I'm not using it because I do not want anyone, including myself, to accidentally drink this. Um, I'm also going to use a paper stump. This is a number four. It doesn't matter. It's just the size I grabbed. So I'm going to dip it in the Gamsol, kind of shake it off so I don't have too much. Tap it off on a paper towel. And then we're going to take this and just blend it in. I'm going to start in the red and kind of work my way out. Doing circular motions. Just like I did with my pencils. So that I don't get any lines or streaks or anything. I can use pressure with the paper stuff as well to burnish if I need to but the Gamsol is going to do most of the work. So I don't have to use pressure, which is nice if you've got arthritis or carpal tunnel or anything that causes your hand fatigue and you don't want to use pressure or can't use pressure, the Gamsol is going to do the work for you. Okay, when it starts to feel like it's not blending very good, just dip it back in the Gamsol, shake it off, tap it off on a paper towel, and go again. Okay, I'm gonna get right around this edge. Now, the rest of this, <clears throat> um, we don't want the orange or the yellow to get into the stock. So you have a couple options. You can flip your paper stump over, use the other side. Or another option is you can use a piece of sandpaper. Some um, paper stumps come with a little piece of sandpaper on a handle. You can pick up sandpaper at the hardware store for nothing. 
very cheap. But you can take your paper stump, see that orange on that end of that paper stump, and just rub it on the sandpaper. And just get rid of it. Okay. It's just going to remove the paper that has the color on it. I'm kind of turning my paper stump as I do it. I'm rotating the paper stump just so I can keep that nice sharp point at the end of my paper stump. Okay. Then just wipe any fuzz that you have on your paper stump. Now we have a nice clean, I'm not going to get any color into the rest of my mushroom. Okay, so I'm tapping it into my Gamsol. I'm tapping it off and I'm going to just go into the rest of my mushroom. Once your Gamsol dries on your paper, you can color over the top of it, add more layers. It's great. Okay, that looks great. All right, I'm done using the Gamsol, so I'm going to put my lid back on. Okay, so this is dry, dries very quickly. I'm gonna take my white Uniball Signo gel pen, and you could use this, you could use a um, Posca paint pen, or you could use acrylic paint. And I'm just going to put in these dots again. And I always start on the wrong side. I should start on this side so that I don't rub my hand in the wet gel pen as I go. Okay, so let's start over here. And then I can work my way across. And there is our mushroom. All right, I think they're looking great. So that is it for today. Come back next time and we'll do one of these guys. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you like the mini series. I know they're just short little videos, but show you quite a bit, I think. Um, so give it a thumbs up if you like these videos. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys find time to relax, to color, to enjoy yourselves, and to get some relaxation, some stress-free fun, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.